Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, we have an a Dell mini PC. This one is an OptiPlex 3050. It comes with an iCore 7th, 7th generation, iCore 3, 7th generation. And I'm gonna show you guys how to disassemble this one and how to repaste to do your own maintenance on this one. It's really easy, so let's keep this video really short. First thing first, you want to remove the only screw that comes at the back. So remove this screw by hand, or if it's really tight, use a screwdriver, unscrew it. It will not come out, it has a C lock on it. So once you get it loose, all you need to do to hold it from the bottom and press this trigger inward. And then once it goes all the way through, lift it up, and that's the front panel. Next here, you can see the fan and everything else in it. So what you want to do, you want to press these two triggers with an arrow indicators inward and lift up the fan. Okay, and then run the cable, untangle the cable from there. There we go. So it has a speaker right in it too, so the speaker comes with it. You can unhook the jack from there, remove the jack contacts, just pull them up. There. Now you can use an old tooth uh, brush so to clean up the fan right there. So we're going to use the old tooth brush. And also, if you want to do a really good job, you can remove these three screws. We're going to be using an iFixit tool set. We're going to use Phillips number double zero. And we're going to remove these black screws. So I'll remove that one, one screw, two, and the third one is right there. Once removed, the fan is going to come out. So what we can do right now is go ahead and clean it up nicely. Grab the toothbrush and just go ahead and clean it up and blow some air through this one. So that's one. Next, we need to repaste. So we need to remove the heat sink off of here. So there's only four screw holding it. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. The screws will not come out. You just rotate and you hear that click. All right. Now you don't want to yank it upward, you just want to first twitch and uh, rotate it in place to break the seal just like that. And now once you do that, just try to lift it up. As you can see, there's the old thermal paste. So what we want to do, we want to grab a working towel. I have an old thermal paste here. Uh, you're going to grab an alcohol. And we're going to clean the CPU. All you need to clean is the top part. So if you have any little bit of laying out around it, don't worry about it. Just clean the top portion. Clean the heat sink. All right, once you clean it up, you want to grab your new thermal paste. I'm using an MX4, so just do a cross right in the, on the CPU. Just like that. Now you want to grab this one and also clean it up if there's enough dust in here. Go ahead and clean it up. Once you clean up this one, you want to put it straight over. Make sure you just bring it down straight. Don't go sideways. Okay. 
Now this is the important part. You want to bring this heatsink straight down on the CPU. So do a few twists on this one and then cross twist on the other one just a little bit. Go back on the other one and now do the same thing a little bit on this one. Go back on the other corner just like that. All right. Now let's go ahead and clean up the, the heatsink. All right, now that we clean up the heatsink, you want to grab the top portion, put it on top, and place the three screws right over. All right, now what we want to do first, we want to plug in the connectors. Remember they are color coordinated, so there are two jack, black and white. So put the black one in the black jack and the white one in the white jack. And it will only go one way in, so don't worry about trying to putting it the other way around. Okay. Now you want to bring it, put it on top, align it, and push it down. Make sure the trigger is right there. And then run the cable right there. Make sure it's in one side. And everything is in place. Open the triggers a little bit. And you should be set. Now what you want to do, you want to grab the top cover, align it, put it in an offset position, just like the way you took it out, and then you want to put it back in. Now you grab the screw and just twist it. You don't need to put it too hard, just tighten by hand and that's it. And that's how you do your own service for your Dell Optiplex 3050. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And it will be really helpful if you guys subscribe. And again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.